Hello and welcome to the Valen. I'm Night Valen, your host, and we are playing Imperium. I gotta stop doing that, man. I really gotta stop doing that. Uh, we are playing No Man's Sky, <laughs> a, a better version of Imperium. Um, let's see. So, Jesco Crater. And that place. Alright, so apparently that's a save point or something. I don't know what we did. We activated that. We were gonna take. We're not gonna take anything. We want our exosuit, which we were on in the first place. Let's. Uh, we can transfer items. Just do that real quick. And we'll see what's in this uh, cargo box. We got a Gek Charm. Not sure what a Gek Charm does. Uh, cargo drop box. Some plutonium's always nice to have. All right. All right, so let's bring up our discoveries real quick. So we have uh, different points of interest on this map. Uh, apparently and we've got this one so let's rename this one real quick uh, let's see let's do this <laughs> just some random name all right and we will accept that all right, so now if we highlight over that, it's the Valen Outpost, blah, 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 blah. We've renamed it. We've uploaded it. We've got points for it, credits, and so on and so forth. we got 1,000 units for that. So now we can return. And I'm still traveling towards my destination. Now, the question marks are probably other points of interest, but right now we're just worried about getting to our ship. Are you kidding me? There's Heridium right here, literally right on top of that outpost. I ran all that way to the other Heridium deposits, and there's one right here. I guess it pays to pay attention. Uh, right now, we are just running. Uh, it's a shame I I have noticed, like, I can't seem... It doesn't seem to allow me to rename um, any of the critters I've come across. I don't know if I... I don't know if to have to feed them or do a specific thing to rename creatures or have them considered discovered by me. What are you? Oh, you're going to be important. I'm going to need loads of you for takeoff. Uh, this ship requires that to do something. Give me your platinum, or plutonium, rather. Don't be hating. All right, so we're just gonna run up this hill real quick. Gotta get to the ship. All right, I'm going to start the timer, so this video might be a bit longer, because I just now started the timer. Which is perfectly fine, because we're getting some walking in. Ah, that's how you, uh, analyze some critters. Already scanned you. That's fine. Gonna have to come up with some creative names, guys. If you got any creative names for a creature gallery, let us know down in the description. We will have to make... Actually, I, I should totally do that. Uh, but, no. No. Not right now. But now at least we know. Flora and fauna. That's good to know. Let's see if we can scan this big thing. Totally can scan this big thing.
sweet! We got new discoveries all over the place. Let's see, can we scan this little stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we can't. Oh, jeez, what was that? I guess they're too far away for me to scan. Yeah, they're too far away to scan. Uh, I need to know which way my ship is. There we go. Getting all excited about scanning stuff that I forgot that I'm probably going to burn to death if I don't... Ow. Not sure what that was. What is this? Emeril. Take some of this stuff. Alright, let's get moving before we get uh, tromps on. Go. We got some more plants in our discovery base. Need to get our butts over that way. Okay. So there's probably going to be a lot of silence with this game and me because I'm going to be like wanting to explore everything and like check stuff out. I mean, there's a question mark item over there. I definitely. You know, I just want to get the ship going. I keep I keep wanting to venture off. This game is really good about that. It makes you want to go and check things out. But at the same point in time, I am really just interested in finding my... Have I scanned you guys? The thermal... Millie's discovered. All right. So yeah, we're going to need names down in the comments below. Maybe we can uh, name them after some of you guys. Who knows? There's definitely not enough of you guys to name everything after somebody, but there's definitely enough of them, these critters. Already scanned all this stuff. I don't think we've scanned this blue plant. Is it scannable? It is scannable. Oops. There we go. It's like the other plant, but upside down. That's fine. It's like an alien egg. I just want to get back to the ship, man. We have a little chest crate thingy over here. Let's check this out. Oh, look, they said check it out, not jump. Okay, got some of that stuff. This requires an Atlas Pass. Wait, yeah, whatever. I'm not sure what I just picked up. Oh, don't hurt, don't... Oh, that hurt. Like, a uh, bizatch. Okay, let's not do that again. Oh, my legs. Speaking of legs, temperature is rising. We need to get to a cool spot. This is a cool spot. Alright, let's see what we can do about increasing our health. Um, it looks like it increases on its own. That's good to know. Uh, charge equipment with zinc. Uh, titanium and or shielding charge apparently it's just recharging itself at the moment I don't know if that's actually using my stuff gosh I hope it doesn't so let's see we have transfer items one of one move to stack gas and heal by warriors temporarily increase lung capacity and allow high quality battle outlawed by many peace agreements throughout the galaxy many of which are now broken 
Oh, geez. And I have two of them. I have no idea what it does. But it's apparently valuable. And what does this charm do? Transfer item of stack. Uh, get charm. Good luck charm carried by many galactic traders. It's valuable, but not necessarily useful. Alright, so now that we're cooled down and I don't know if our health goes up over time. But I certainly hope it does. We're getting closer and closer to the ship. We got some more things to scan here. Come here, goat things. There's like two different variations of the same animal here. One with straight horns, one with curved horns. Oh, we made it back to the ship! Yay! Now we can actually repair this thing. Holy jeez. Way too long. I missed you, ship. Even though I'm probably going to trade up for the other ship, but I would like to get this stuff... Uh, okay, this technology is critically damaged. And initiate flight speed boost, space propulsion boosts, blah, blah, blah. So we need to pop up into here. We need to repair this bad boy. We need to charge her up. We need 30M9. All right, so we have the pulse engine slightly charged up. We need to get more of uh, this uh, stuff so that we can actually take off. Let's see what our exosuit's got here. Let's uh, charge this up. We'll use some of our plutonium. And we'll make sure our multi-tool is nice and charged up. Um, while we're at it, we have the plutonium here. We're just going to... Tr uh, actually, we ha can transfer this plutonium over should stack with the other stuff. Good, good, good. We don't need two of these. And deposit that's two. We'll keep this stuff for now because good luck charms, you know. Okay, so we have everything repaired, which is good. Come back, Mr. Fat Flat Frog thing. Journey milestone uh, accomplished. Let's see what we got here. Starship repair. Alright. So I was looking for some of this red stuff. Not sure where I'm going to find it, but we'll find it, I'm sure. I don't remember if there was any nearby. But it's saying there's some stuff underneath us. And I can't shoot up the ground. I remember there was some nearby. I just need to find it. Oh well, we can get more later, right? Hopefully we don't crash land. Alright, so now that we're in our ship... We need to hold RT to take off. Journey milestone accomplished. Oh, come on. Come on. I don't know what I'm doing here. Alright, so fly star ship hold to accelerate to exit atmosphere. Okay, so we have assist, uh, something right here, so. I'd like to land without crashing. 
come in. I'd like to know how to land this thing. All right. <laughs> so essentially, you press uh, square or X or whatever to land. So we've landed. We're at this point. I have no idea what this thing is. It looks like a refinery of some sort. Ali, Ali, Oxen's free. Anybody home? I'm going to run around your place for a bit so I can see what's here. Does not look like there's. Ooh, what's what we have here? Can't interact with this. Oh, that's a shame. It looks like something you could interact with. How do these guys get into these buildings? Are these buildings missing doors? Or am I just a doof? I'm just a doof. So let's let's see what's here. I like platinum. Or plutonium. We have ourselves a little buddy here. I am not sure I like his helmet. Oh. What's up, bruh? Hmm. Approach the elec uh, electronic life form. It instinctively starts to anal analyze me from head to foot. Titters. All right. I mind that I know a little of its kind or how it communicates and the lights on its mask flash. Uh, I'm not sure if I have any of these on my person. I don't. So I will leave him be. Not sure what he does, but I'm sure he is. Oh. Locked door. I need an Atlas Pass level two. Let's turn around here and get our butts back out of here. Ooh, what's this? The observatory. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, what's going on here? I am, I'm confused. I'm so confused, in fact, that I'm just gonna bring up my, I need more, more stuffs. Yay me. So what's in this box? Plutonium. I don't need plutonium though, I need uh, Therion in 9, I need to finish charging up my ship. It is kind of interesting though. Speaking of ship, where did I leave you? Ship, where did I leave you? Hello ship! We're going to, I wonder if you can rename your ship. You probably can. There's got to be a way to rename your ship. Oh, that's not what I want, eh? I want to rename my ship. How do I rename my ship? Well, hyperdrive, we got scan, we got stealth. Do we have hyperdrive? I think we have hyperdrive. I don't think we have hyperdrive. All right. All right. So I have no idea where we're going at the moment. I, I'm just trying to learn to fly this thing. In fact, I am going to have to go to the options. Let us... Flight controls. Inverted. There we go. Let's try that out. Oh, yeah. It's so much better. Oh, yeah. I can fly now. 
Let's uh, head our butts over there. We have photon cannons. I pressed the wrong button. That was rude, man. Got some red isotope stuff over here. Oh, it's just pla uh, plutonium. We don't need plutonium at the moment. We need uh, 39 or whatever it's called. I'm going to head over to whatever this is over here before our time runs out. Do a barrel roll. It's an Alarion roll. Who cares? I do like how we can see the planets and stuff. That's cool. I mean, plenty of games have that. It's just not many of them do it right. I really love my landing. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to land here, though. <laughs> this is better. What do you think of that landing? Let me know. Oh, God. I landed, like, completely on top of it. What is this place? Completely abandoned. Whatever it is. Destination reached. Let's go check over here. I'm sure we don't want to shoot it. Can we scan it? Nope. Knowledge stone. So I have just learned the word rare. Because these things are rare and I just learned a rare word. Which is rare. Rare. Whatever happened to rare. Anything else cool up in this place? Oh, we have another knowledge stone. We just learned the word for warning, which is always good. Nice, nice. Uh, let's see, ruins uh, interact. Let's see what this does for me. Is your marker hums of a frequency that ah burrows deep into my being, filling me with the voice of something. So they're sacred children. Together they convey the wisdom of the infinite. They must be understood. So we just learned the word for their own species. We've learned rare. We've learned warning. And we learned the name of their species. And that seems to be it for this episode as well as this adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, please check me out in the next one. Peace out.